teachers were growing more and more militant. Even well-mannered young ladies like elementary school teacher Mary Thomas from Butte, Montana. In Butte, considered the Gibraltar of Union Towns, they stood up to the district when the district cut their pay. The first meeting that I think Teachers' Issues and Unionism was talked about was at the American Candy Shop uh, in what was then downtown Butte. And there was my mother, Mary Thomas, my Aunt Catherine, Marie Larry, and Ruth McGee. And um, they were the four that got together initially to discuss what could be done about their salaries and to make things fit more fair for teachers. They went home and my grandfather, who was an immigrant and had seen a lot of labor issues, he worked in the mines in Pennsylvania and he was a pump man at the high ore mine here, said you'll never ever get your salaries or your contracts unless you organize. Mary and Catherine had good heads on their shoulders. They were no dumbbells. They knew what was going on. And they were good teachers. The teachers wanted this union to see that everybody was taken care of. We needed the support, and we got it. While collective bargaining for teachers nationwide didn't take off until the 1960s, teachers in Butte negotiated a contract in the 1930s. But what those early teachers associations were, were trying to do was collective bargaining. And also, it was collective bargaining that included uh, working conditions elements that, that were more than simply salary. There was a very broad notion of collective bargaining because these early teachers associations wanted to negotiate about curriculum. They wanted to negotiate about what kind of textbooks they would use. They wanted to negotiate about playgrounds, um, about class size, of course, as well as salary and benefits. And so it was a very progressive and broad notion of negotiations that they were promoting. 